Alonso was on the bench, Conte was on the bench, Giroud was on the bench, and come to Old Trafford, even if this is not the huge Manchester United that used to scare people, it's Manchester United. If Conte can, can play 30, 35 minutes, he can start the game, and then if he lasts only one hour, then he lasts one hour. This is what um, Frank Lampard had to say in response. Well, I can't drag people out of the medical room to play, <laughs> if they're experienced or not. So these are the players, the players that we play today, the players that are on the bench uh, in a game that we were clearly the better team for 45 to maybe 60 minutes. Um, what was evident is that we made individual errors that led to four goals out of their five shots. So there's the harsh reality for us. At least Mourinho's saying something. Someone when they get these pundits on, they say nothing, don't they? At least he's, he's not afraid to speak out. Is he right? Uh... Well, that's subjective because it, it, Frank Lampard is correct to an extent. I mean, I don't know, I don't think Giroud was carrying an injury, but certainly Kante had been. And then you've got to gauge, you know, it's all very well saying I'll play him for an hour, but do you risk further injury? Because you need him back. You, know? sure. you need him, this is one game, you need him for the season. You can't be without Kante for six weeks or longer. And the other side of the coin is, and he wasn't, we never touched on it there, but he was talking about Mason Mount and people like that. I'm loathed, honestly, I've been doing this job as you know a long time, I'm loathed as a pundit to start picking on young guys coming into the team, particularly guys with little to no experience of Premier League football. And I think there are other people in the pitch for Chelsea that should have taken responsibility. As for Laqueta, yes. in fact, for a couple of goals, was in poor positions and made mistakes. So, uh, you know, he's got an opinion. Uh, but it's interesting Frank's responded to it. Yeah. Uh, because that's going to be something we're going to... And he's going to have to get used to all, all of the season. Was it naive from Lampard, his starting 11? First of all, the short-term memory of Jose Mourinho <laughs> is oh, yes. it's incredible. It's unbelievable. And it's typical, to be quite honest with you. Because when he refers to Manchester United not being the huge Manchester United, well, he has had a part in that, hasn't he? Uh, in any case, so Chelsea goes in there and, he, and Frank Lampard decides to play the players that are healthy, that are ready for him to go out on the field. And... Let me tell you, for the first 30 minutes or so, Chelsea and Emerson, who was down the left-hand side instead of Alonso, is hitting the post. They're dangerous. They're creating opportunities. They did not take advantage of those opportunities. And in the end, they get punished by their own mistakes. Kortsuma taking down uh, uh, Martial in the box. And from then on, the game changed. As to being naive, if we are saying that Manchester United and Jose Mourinho is saying that it's not, it's not the huge Manchester United of all, the vaunted Manchester United, well, what's wrong with attacking Manchester United? In the end, you yourself, if you're Chelsea, you made the mistakes and you expose yourself and you expose your own frailties at the back. And those are things that he's going to have to deal with. But to say that he was naive because he didn't play players who were injured, that's ridiculous because... He has no information or access to any information suggesting that Kante could have played 60 minutes. How does he know that? How does he know that? Let's bring Ian Dart into the conversation. Ian, what do you make of this? Well, <laughs> I think he's right that that Chelsea team out there did look a bit inexperienced and a bit callow, but that wasn't Frank Lampard's fault. As the guys have been saying, only he knows from the inside who's fit to start the game. He could have started Conte, and Conte might only have lasted half an hour. Then he would have looked a bit stupid, wouldn't he? So, it wasn't the best players he had available. I think the player they really miss is Rudiger at the moment, at the back. Really experienced, and a fit Conte who could have started the game. Maybe it would have been a, a different kind of result if they'd been on the pitch. And yeah, Chelsea was slick. In the first hour or so of the game, they were the better side, but then they got overrun and fell apart a bit. That might happen a few times if they have to play the youngsters a lot. It's a good sentiment to play youngsters, and a lot, lots of people are pushing for it uh, in some of the big leagues because it's chances are few and far between. However, you know, the sentiment will go out the window when the cracks start to appear. And ultimately, you know, all these young guys Chelsea have had out on loan, and, you know, some of them were at Derby last year, some of them have been elsewhere. Tammy Abrahams has been out on loan uh, a couple of times, uh, led the line for Villa last year. But at the end of the day, it'll be results, you know, and that, and that sympathy for young guys, while it's not criticising them, will only go so far. And then Frank Lampard will ultimately probably have to go back to experience, and that's why he needs... Uh, these guys fit. But I've said all along, you know, with, uh, with the young guys leading the line and playing in midfield against the better teams in the Premier League, it's going to be tricky. Does starting Giroud make a difference in this game? Mm, 
Not particularly, no. Or Alonso, for that matter. So, so it, we're talking as if outside of N'Golo Kante, the other options that we're talking about, it's, it's not guys that have yeah. been first-choice starters for any of the coaches and managers that have been with Chelsea. Alonso fell off the wagon, and, and he hasn't been back in the starting lineup. And a new manager comes in, and, and he has a choice to make, and he makes a choice for the Emersons, thinking this is a guy that can give me something else that Alonso is not giving me. Those are decisions that you make based on what you see. It's not like Frank Lampard says, you know what I'm going to do? It's a good idea. I'm going to try to lose for nothing in, in the first game of the season. No. Look, you put the players out there that you think give you the best opportunity to win and the players that you have available to you. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.